everybody praise the Lord this is the day the Lord has made we ought to rejoice this last Sunday of February 2021 if you're glad to know the Lord has been good to you put those hands together if you're glad to be in the service of the Lord one more time hallelujah And we ought to be grateful for his mercies endured forever. His compassions are new every morning. And if you're glad to be alive today with excitement and enthusiasm, you ought to praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God from worship. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For a day in thy court is better than a thousand elsewhere. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in tents of wickedness. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord flourish in the courts of our God. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house the place where your honor and glory dwells. But the Lord is in this holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. 
Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be found acceptable in thy sight. Lord, you are my rock and my redeemer. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth sing his praises. And we shall do so by lifting up him, number 387, just a closer walk with thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus, if you please. Daily walking close with thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk with thee. Through this world of toils and snares, if I fall to Lord, who cares? Who with me my burden shares? None but thee, none but thee. When my feeble life is o'er, time for me will be no more. Guide me gently, safely o'er, to thy kingdom shore, to thy shore. Let's lift our voice and sing in this wonderful hymn of the church, just a closer walk with thee.
thy kingdom shore to thy shore mm, just a closer walk with just a closer walk with thee just a closer walk with thee. grant it Jesus if you please daily walking close with thee let it be, dear Lord, let it be, oh, just a closer walk with Thee, grant it, Jesus, if you please, oh, dear Lord, let it be. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, the God who brought Moses and the descendants of Israel out of Egypt. The God who bore the bodies of brothers and sisters carried across oceans to new lands. The God who gave voice to people oppressed in slavery oppressed economically the God who delivered them out of the hands of slavery to emancipation the God who gave rise to great minds and thinkers inventors and writers educators and leaders we thank you for being the God of our salvation we thank you for being the God of our deliverance we thank you for being the God of our ancestors who through many dangers told as there they knew they had already come they realized twas your grace that had brought them safe this far and twill be your grace that will lead their descendants on we thank you O now father for keeping us in the midst of economic strife, in the midst of violent pandemic, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Father, forgive us for our sins by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty. We rejoice in the mercies that are new to us every morning, your compassions that fail not. Great is your faithfulness to us. We thank you, O oh God, for keeping us from Sunday to Sunday. We thank you, God, that no hurt, harm, or danger befell our families. And even in the midst of all that we experienced throughout the week, you were merciful. We thank you. Look and have mercy this morning in hospital rooms. Look and have mercy this morning in nursing home rooms, look and have mercy this morning in prison cells, look and have mercy in this morning in homes where children are in need, look and have mercy in homes where there's domestic abuse and violence, look and have mercy on, in, uh, in the places where there's angst, anxiety, depression, and every other emotional unstableness. Have mercy this morning. Look and have mercy in sanctuaries that are closed with people yearning to be in communion with one another have mercy this morning look and have mercy as only you can bless us oh God not just in this moment of worship praise and listening to your word but bless us as we go out bless us as we come in enlarge our territories expand us to better serve this present age our calling to fulfill be merciful oh God 
We need you and we can't make it without you. And we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for what you have done. But most of all, Father God, because we walk by faith and not by sight, we thank you for what you will do. We ask, oh God, that you just be merciful. <coughs> we ask this in your son, the risen Christ. This is his name that we pray. And the people of God said, amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you for being good. Sing with us this worship melody. Simply says, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wherever you are, lift your hands, you lift your voice and sing that time one more time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Somebody say he's been so good. He's been so good. Been so good. Been so good. Been Hallelujah. Give God some praise in this place. Amen. Wherever you are. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning and happy Sunday to you all. My name is Tiffany Heron and I will present to you a brief history of New Bethel AME Church in honor of Black History Month. New Bethel AME Church began with a small congregation of eight fellow Christians who met together for worship services in October 1927. Later that year, the church was organized with its first pastor, Reverend Donahue, and was christened the name of New Bethel AME Church by Mrs. Nancy Henderson, who served as the first missionary president. Its eight founding members were Mrs. Grafton, Miss Duncan Henderson, Mr. and Mrs. Houston Henderson, Mr. and Miss Ben Bledsoe, Mr. and Ms. P.A. Dixon, Ms. Floyd Donahue, and Presiding Elder Dr. W. Hare. The church was originally held under a brush harbor, which is a secluded outdoor space set with trees and branches where blacks could worship freely. Several years later, during the 1930s, the little congregation at the brush harbor continued to grow with additional members and hopes for expansion. Its first Sunday school superintendent was Mr. Crawford, Miss Iola Pickett was the church's first secretary. Stewards and trustees were Mr. Duncan Henderson and Mr. C.I. Parker. Reverend J.W. Golden served as the church's second pastor after Reverend Donahue. Reverend Tyler served as the church's third pastor after Reverend Golden. And it was he who replaced the Brush Harbor outside for with a new tent and a sawdust floor for the sanctuary of the church. More members continued to join New Bethel during the years such as Mrs. Sally Tyler, 
Mrs. Amy Tyler, and Ms. Zula Chen. Later pastors at the church were Reverend R.L. Spencer and Reverend C.B. Bradley during this time. In 1935, the members of New Bethel raised a sum of $17 to begin building a new structure to replace the current tent as a new place of worship. With the help of surrounding neighbors and friends, the members built a small wooden frame structure and moved their services there. In 1937, membership at the church continued to grow with emphasis on new church ministries, boards, and clubs. As the years went by, and under several leadership of other pastors, New Bethel expanded its outreach in the community. It purchased the old Elks Rest Cemetery next door and the surrounding lots of the church in hopes to build a new brick structure large enough to house the growing congregation. Members started a new building fund of $2,000 with the help of Reverend Leo Hawkins Sr. In 1962, Members added to the building fund of $4,092 with the help of Reverend C.J. Johnson. They worked hard to raise the money from fundraising programs, dinners, teas, and other events from the various clubs and boards of the church. In 1963, enough money was raised to begin building a new brick structure. The first groundbreaking service was held on May 21, 1963 at the Anderson United Methodist Church nearby. New Bethel members marched from there to the new building that sits here today. In June 1963, the first service for Women's Day was held here in the basement. Members held the first service in the sanctuary after it was completed in March 1964. During its tenure, New Bethel has had many past pastors that have made great milestones in the church's history. Under Reverend William Love, the church was remodeled and new additions were added to the back of the church such as an elevator, a kitchen, new offices, classrooms, bathrooms, and a conference room. Reverend Neal, our current pastor, continues to follow in the footsteps of his predecessors, expanding the church for the future and serving the Lord in the church. One of the church's past leaders, Reverend Arthur Robinson, served as an activist in the struggle for equality during the civil rights movement in Mississippi. Originally from Louisiana, Reverend Robinson had his previous church firebombed by white supremacists in the 1960s due to his activism for civil rights. However, he continued to fight for justice even after he became pastor at New Bethel here. Reverend Robinson shared his love for equal rights for all of God's people in a December 1979 publication of the Clarion Ledger. My grandmother, Laura Cosby, and her husband, Mr. Anderson Cosby, my grandfather, whose name is engraved on the cornerstone just outside, joined New Bethel on August 12, 1932, under the leadership of Reverend C.B. Bradley. My grandma was a member of New Bethel for 87 years. She sang in the choir, served as a stewardess, while my grandfather served as a trustee and an usher. Back in the day, my grandma went to Sunday school, church services every Sunday morning and night, and she hosted the ladies of the missionary board at our home during their meetings. I'm told with lots of delicious home-cooked soul food and drinks, because Grandma was an amazing cook. New Bethel AME Church continues to grow from its humble beginnings and continues to be a house of love and light, serving both its members and the community. Thank you, and God bless.
Praise the Lord, everybody. We just glad to be again behind the sacred desk, being able to share this word. Uh, I don't know about you, but I just been in the spirit of, and us feeling the presence of the Lord today, and, and I hope that you're sensing the very same presence. And I hope that you are grateful for what our God has done for you, and that the Lord has been really gracious to you. You all just lift your hands right now, wherever you are, and just begin to worship him. Worship him in spirit and truth. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you're thankful for him. Tell him how much you are grateful for his mercy that endures forever. Thank you, Father. We're gracious, grateful to you. We're grateful, so grateful to you. Just worship him wherever you are. Let, let the Holy Spirit invade your, your space in this moment. Let the Holy Spirit just invade you and, and sanctify you and, and build you up in the holy faith right here. Wherever you are, let that happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am grateful for the things that you have done. Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we've won. I could go on and on and on about your word because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. Flow Come on, worship him wherever you are. Give God the best praise that you can give him. Love on him wherever you are. He's been good to you. He's brought you from a mighty long way. Just worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grateful. Be grateful. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Just, I, I don't mind just getting off script for a moment. Just think about how good he's been to you. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be grateful. He brought you out of darkness into his mighty light. Be grateful. He brought you up out of a horrible pit into and set you on a rock. The rock of Jesus. Be grateful. Hallelujah. Grateful, 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 grateful. Grateful, 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 grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. Gratefulness is flowing from my heart. Flowing from my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the issues of my heart is gratefulness. Come on, put those hands together. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 My, 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 my. If you have your Bibles, turn with us to... Psalm number 137. Psalm number 137. We will be reading the first four verses of this psalm. It may be familiar to some of you. From number 137, the American Standard Bible, you find these words. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. Upon the willows in the midst of it, we hung our harps. For there our captors demanded of us songs, and from our tormentors mirth sang, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? 
how can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If you will allow me just a few moments, I want to talk to you from the subject, my strange land praise. My strange land praise. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you in this moment. We bless you in this sacred space for allowing us again to be behind this sacred desk, but most of all, just for allowing us to experience your faithfulness. As we stand, God, blot out our iniquities, forgive us of our sins, and impart within us the righteousness that is necessary for us to proclaim your great gospel. And as always, this your servant acts that you allow the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be found acceptable in your sight, for you are indeed my rock and my redeemer. It is in your name we pray. Amen. My strange land prays. We encountered this text in Psalm as a song of both dilemma and deliverance. We encounter this psalm as a reflection of moments spent in captivity by the descendants of Israel. They had been taken from their place in Jerusalem to Babylon. The nobility were removed from their places of influence into places of mediocrity among Babylonian society. And we read how they, in some ways, began to adapt to their captivity, some choosing to, uh, to basically assimilate within the culture that they had become a part of. And then there were a few who refused to assimilate. Matter of fact, we learn of the stories of four young men who, in the court of the king, decided that they would not partake of the king's meal and that they would prove to themselves that they were worthy of saving grace by God because they trusted in him. We learn of many who were forced into a false sense of security in captivity. But the text here brings forth the notion of something that was unique to those people in captivity. In captivity, they had a remnant of themselves, a remnant of their identity that the people who had brought them there began to enjoy. They had a remnant of their homeland that no one could take even as they began to assimilate into the culture that they had been in. They had a reminder that they were someone different and they had something called a song in their heart, a song in their spirit that sometimes would just ring forth out from their lips and they would begin to sing songs of Zion songs of memory reminding them that they were once people of God they were once people of prosperity they were once people who were kings and queens and lived in the way they should in the place of inheritance given to them by God through their fathers Abraham, Isaac and Jacob they, they had a memory of who they were and they would sing these songs of Zion and their captors began to recognize that the songs that they were singing were not just something made up to pass the time. They began to realize that the songs that they were singing were not just songs to help them get through the work. They, they realized that the songs they were singing happened to be songs of relevance to their experience. They, they were songs of relevance to their remembrance. They were songs of relevance 
to their reflection of who they really were in a strange land. Can I tell you, I think some of us are like those people who were in captivity in a strange land and the only thing that we have left to reflect on is a song and I wish I had somebody up in here that can just shout with me for a moment. Huh? If you got a song in your spirit, sometimes that just pops up uh, a song of Zion that just shows up in your spirit and fortifies you to remember that the God that you serve is your God. The God that you serve is your deliverer. The God that you serve is your redeemer. Oh my God, I feel this thing in here this morning. Huh? They had a song of Zion that would rise up inside of them. Huh? And whatever the song may have been, it caught the attention of their captors and the captors began to say to them I don't know what you're singing huh? but whatever you're singing is making me feel good too and they say I don't know why you're singing it huh? but I just know I need to hear your song. Yeah, I wish I had somebody here. Somebody needs to hear the song of praise that you got in your spirit. Somebody needs to hear your testimony. Somebody needs to hear that you've been brought from God from a mighty mighty long way. My God God have mercy. They, they, they said uh, that they had come to Babylon and in the place where there was prosperity for other folk. Uh, instead of them experiencing the prosperity of the other folk, they began to weep uh, as they remembered who they really were. They began to weep as they remembered uh, what they really had. They began to reap uh, as they remembered uh, that God has said, if you don't do right, uh, you're going to go here and they wept because their own sin, their own neglect, their own pride brought them into the place of captivity and now they were in this strange land being asked by strange people to sing a familiar song. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every now and then we have to remind us ourselves that we may be in the world but we are not of the world uh, and the world uh, every now and then uh, sees who we are and recognizes our value to God and says I don't know why you're singing that praise song but where I, why, whatever reason you have to sing it uh, I don't mind you singing it uh, but you need to know uh, if you're going to sing it you need to have a reason uh, and a memory to sing it from they said we remembered Zion. We remembered the temple. We remembered the place going in and hearing the trumpets blown. We remember going in and hearing the, the singers sing. We remember going in and seeing the people on the string instruments play. Uh, we remember Zion. We remember the place of peace, shalom. We remember the place of God's dwelling. We, we remember Zion and, and, and we wanted to go back, but, but right now we were in a strange land. So we hung our harps, uh, we hung our voices, uh, we hung our privilege uh, in the way, in the, in the wilderness by the rivers of Babylon. We hung all that and, and our captors were saying to us, bring back to us that which you had over there. They, they, the, captors, the captors were saying, you got something special. You're not like us. But you got something for us. I uh, mean, put a P in here. See, see, part of the black religious experience is the fact that we get a little bit excited when we worship. <laughs> we get a little bit excited uh, when we enter God's house. So, you know, we, we don't just come in the house and sit down. Sometimes we come in the house and we shout all day. Sometimes we come in the house and we got to run around the building. Sometimes we come in the house and we just got to buck and, and dance because we realize God has been so good to us. Sometimes we come in the house and we got to sing a hymn. Uh, we got to sing uh, that uh, that the God has been good to us. We, we don't just say praise God from whom all blessings flow. We lift our voices and we shout praise God uh, from whom uh, all blessings flow. We realize that God 
God has been with us all the time. And, and we know that because he's been with all of us all of the time, that all the time God is good and we sing a praise to it. Well, 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 let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. In black worship tradition, hymn writers, songwriters like Thomas Dorsey and Tinsdale wrote pieces that reflected the memory of Zion. Uh, 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 songs like Peace Be Still by Reverend James Cleveland. Psalms like uh, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, Leave Me On, Let Me Stand. Songs like By and By When the Morning Comes, uh, When All the Saints of God Are Gathering Home. Uh, those songs were, were strange songs uh, in a strange land, uh, but those were songs that reminded us uh, that that we had come from Zion uh, and that one of these days uh, we'll be marching back to Zion. Is there anybody here who can say I might be in captivity now, but I'm marching to Zion. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Zion. Come ye that love the Lord. Uh, hey, is there anybody here who can say that I am on the battlefield uh, for my Lord. Uh, I promise him that I would serve him till I die. Is there anybody here that can say amazing grace? How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. I like this part. Through many dangers, toils and snare, I have already gone. Cause grace. <laughs> Grace, grace uh, that brought me safe this far, uh, and grace will uh, lead me on. My, 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 my. See, see, here, here's the thing. Some folk won't understand why you're singing in a strange place. Some folk would just rather that you conform and be good and keep your mouth closed while you serve out captivity. But these folk couldn't keep their mouth closed uh, because the one thing that they had connecting them to God was the remembrance that they once uh, lived in a place where God dwelled. Uh, and it's because of their own selfishness, uh, their own pride that brought them into this place of captivity. But they said to the captives, while you're asking us to sing a song of Zion, uh, we can't sing the same song because because we're in a strange land, but we can adapt the song to fit our strange land experience. Huh? That's why you got to have a strange land praise. Huh? When you're going through things in life, huh? you need to have a strange land praise. Huh? You need to be able to say, God is huh? my battle axe. Huh? You need to be able to say, he is huh? everything huh? I need. Huh? You need to be able to say, huh? Jesus, what a friend I have. All my sins and griefs to bear. I might not have all the things I used to have. I might not be the place I needed to be or used to be. But where I am right now, I got to praise to God. I got to praise to God. I got to praise to God that the enemy don't understand. Stand, uh, like what I'm hearing, uh, but not don't know why I'm hearing it. Uh, like what I'm saying, uh, don't know why I'm saying it. Uh, that's because uh, I remember uh, God is uh, my everything. Uh, I remember uh, God is uh, my shepherd. Uh, I remember uh, God loved me so much. Uh, he came down. Uh, put on humanity, uh, wrapped himself up uh, in swaddling clothes, uh, born of a virgin. Uh, he suffered, uh, uh, died. Uh, he was buried uh, in a bottle tomb. Uh, yeah. They left him there uh, all night Friday. Uh, they left him there uh, all day Saturday uh, and all night Saturday. But early... Oh, early, ah, early, 
he got up uh, with all power uh, in his hand. Uh, Jesus, uh, Mary's baby. Uh, Jesus, uh, the Lamb of God. Uh, Jesus, uh, my will in the middle of will. Uh, Jesus, uh, he got up uh, with all power. Uh, and gave me uh, a new song. Uh, he got up uh, with all power uh, and gave me uh, a new praise. Uh, is there anybody here who can testify? Jesus. Jesus has given me a strange land praise. That's why I can go through what I, what I go through with my hands lifted up. Because I look to the hills <laughs> from where my help comes. That's, that's why when I go through what I go through, I, I can go through with, with praise in my, my mouth and on my lips. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I don't know about you, but I, I got me a strange land praise. And it keeps me going wherever I go, whenever I'm going through something. I got something to, to keep me. It ain't nothing but a memory sometimes, but it's enough. It's enough to let my captors know I ain't going to be here always. And you don't have me. God has me. Amen. Come on, give God some praise wherever you are. Amen. Y'all quiet over there. <laughs> let's, let's pray. Father, we just thank you. We bless you for being to us a song giver in a strange land, for being to us a reminder of our place in Zion. Help us when our captors demand of us a song that we don't sing our strange land praises in vain not to an empty audience, but we let us sing it to you so that you will empower us, liberate us to serve this present age. We surrender ourselves to you and our songs of praise to you that you give to us to set others free. We ask that God be with us, enable us to sing songs of praises throughout our play, our day, week, and life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I extend the invitation to Christian discipleship, the gospel message is that Jesus Christ came, he died, and he rose again from the dead that you may have life eternal and abundant. And if you believe that he was dead and buried and God raised him from the dead if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart God did that you shall be saved it's the invitation to Christian discipleship if you don't know Jesus as Savior and Lord this is your opportunity to do so step one anywhere in the virtual land just this time may be your last time don't let this time slip surrender all to Jesus wherever you are Surrender all and let him give you a song in your strange land to remind you of him as your deliverer and savior. And if you've already accepted Jesus Christ as savior and Lord and you may not have a church home and you're desiring to fellowship with a group of believers, we invite you to join New Bethel. Virtually at this moment, you can do so simply by leaving a comment and saying, I want to join New Bethel. That's how you can join us virtually. We invite you to do so, and we welcome you to be join us. We're a body of believers who are committed to growing and being relational, encouraging, authentic, and loving. That's who we are. Hallelujah. Amen. We have done as the Lord is commanding, and yet there's always room always room. Amen. Amen. Now, as we continue to worship the Lord, we, we will worship him in our giving. 
the Lord does respect our giving. And at this time, we want to invite you to continue to support New Bethel. If those of you have, we are so grateful that you have thought it not robbery to support New Bethel in our virtual ministry. Your, your support is helping us do so much, and we're grateful for that. If you desire to give, there are two ways you can give primarily. You can give by way of the physical address, address of the church that should be there on your screen. However, the Lord uh, enables you to do that. Uh, give. Uh, we appreciate that. You can also give virtually by way of Givelify. Uh, that, show, that should also be on the screen. And if you are in need of prayer or whatever, there's information on the screen that you can text. And we will get back with you with prayer, whatever your prayer request may be. And we're just thankful again for all of you who have been supporting us. Having said that, let's go to the Lord in prayer and bless the offering that is about to be received. Father, we thank you that you are the giver of every good and every perfect gift, that you are the one who provides the resources. You are the one who sows the seeds to us so that we may sow the seed into others. Lord, bless those who are giving, Father God. Let them give and give back to them. Uh, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. We pray, oh God, even for those who desire to give but do not have the means, bless them so that they can have an opportunity when next time comes. And we thank you, God, for all the things that you're going to do through this ministry because of the loving kindness of you and those who are giving to us. We thank you in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. We are looking for a miracle. <laughs> we are looking for a miracle for not just for New Bethel, but also for you. If you are in need of a blessing, we believe in God with you, that he will bless you, increase you, enlarge you, whatever you need, he will provide for you. Amen. Praise God, praise God. We want to thank our musicians this morning for being with us and laboring with us. We want to thank Sister Heron for the wonderful Black History Moment. Thank you so much for those of you who are watching. Uh, thank you so much. Feel free to like and share this video uh, all over your social media. We thank you so much. God bless you as we get ready to close out this worship experience. Thank you, Lord, for your grace, mercy, and love and kindness. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, present us fallen before your presence with seen joy and gladness to the wise God our Father, be glory, majesty, dominion, power, now and always. People of God said, amen, amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer.